Hey guys, it's Drac and the lovely Draculina, and here we have a box. That's it. That's the video. It's a box. No, just kidding. This is a box from Magnatag. This is their business card, and I'll put a full link to their Kickstarter down below, but Magnatag is a company they're trying to start up, and what this is is a magnetic scoring system for foam warfare. So these are for me to install before I make the second part of this video. These are for rival rounds, high impact rounds, and then these are for elite darts. And as you might imagine, these are rare earth magnets that we will be using to activate these. Now what are these? These are prototype harnesses for the front and back of the Magnetag system. Now they do have circuitry in here somewhere they will turn on. Looks like a lot of love has been put into getting these into a functional system. The lights will light up as you score. I'll go ahead and hand this to you so that I can show you kind of what they'll go on. The one without the pack is the one in the front. So it looks like we have two harnesses so that we can start magnetagging one another just as soon as I get these magnets installed into some of our primary weapons, but very excited to try out this product. It looks like it's just a very clean application. The micro LEDs are great. These pressure pads aren't pressure pads. They're electromagnetic field receptors, so they'll tell when the magnets are close, and just what an absolutely cool scoring system. These are, of course, prototypes, but four prototypes, remarkably clean, with the machining and then the rubber on the side. It looks like they also kind of double as, like, body armor, but... I think that that's excellent. I can't wait to shoot you. <laughs> Alright, so we've had plenty of time to play with the Magnetag gear at this point, and it's, I had my doubts, it's an absolute blast. First off, getting these magnets into the darts is a breeze. I've labeled all of my Magnetag darts with M's so that I know which ones they are. You just open this up with tweezers, slide the magnet inside, and it couldn't be simpler for rivals rounds. I drilled tiny holes in them and then again labeled them with M's and just pushed them in with a screwdriver. Very, very simple. It's making the darts a little bit heavier, but once you adjust to it, it's quite simple. This is a stock hammer shot. Keep that in mind. Oh, wait, you've got to spin around so I can turn you on. Oh Here we go. Okay, so you can see the Draculina is blue. That means that she is at full health. We played with these in the dark, by the way, and the LEDs are bright and just a ton of fun. It kind of encourages more polite play as well because now if I shoot her in the face, that is not okay. And in addition to being mean, it won't register as a point. So I would rather hit her right here. And you can see that that puts her at green, so now she is at two lives. Then one more shot is red, and then if you spin around, you can see that this mirrors on both of the pressure pads. The blue straps have wire in them and connect them, and then firing from the back, she is now defeated. So that is how they work. They let you know everything with the different tonal inflections. I think she's going to fire at me, and so you can see that... I think you put that one off the rim. It encourages good aim. And it's just way, way too much fun. Rapid fire darts, like from a rapid strike, will register as sequential tags, which is really, really cool. And it's, it's just a really fun platform. I don't want to say that it completely replaces laser tag but it's just a ton of fun the harnesses are comfortable and they're comfortable in prototype form so you can see this is a solid platform and then in the back we have both uh just an on switch and then down below here if i unsnap you it all connects via this micro USB to everything in it. For prototypes, these are remarkably well-tuned, and I think that it's well worth going to this Kickstarter, taking a look at this product, and kind of figuring out if it's something that you'd like so to support. I'd love to see arenas for this in the future because it's way more fun than laser tag. Playing with anything that fires actual darts is just too much fun, and it's very, very simple. It's cheap, which is nice. I imagine you could charge less than a laser tag arena, although those are 
all markups. I'm going to show you their Kickstarter video after this, but I really wanted to get some hands-on experience with these, try them out for myself, find out that they are in fact just as much fun as we thought that they were. They work, which is amazing to me that they are registering almost all tags that hit them. The only exceptions are when things bounce off of this rubber pad as glancing blows. Even hitting the metal screw ports, we found registers tags. So just really, really cool stuff, and I think well worth checking out because are you going to defeat me now? Got me. <laughs> Thanks for watching. So this is Arduino. the most recent setup. Uh, it's a little Arduino shield, fully contained, very simple circuitry. Um, I'm not going to explain too much about it, it's about the details, but you can see that we have a setup here with sensors on Winky the Pig. And, uh, I'm going to make some bacon out of them. We got them set up with uh, a little buzzer and a, and a light, so hopefully we're going to do some target practice and uh, yeah, see if it it's, works. It's, it's going to work. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Let me, uh, Gangster style. Let me get a... All right, man. Got this? Zoomed it on here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, go further away once. See if you got some aim. Booyah! Hit the front or the back. Okay? Three hits, front or back.